Today, more than 11 billion connected devices are producing eight zettabytes of data per year. By 2025, these devices will grow eightfold from 11 to 80 billion, while data will grow a staggering 22-fold from eight zettabytes to 180 zettabytes. And every forecast calls for continued exponential growth thereafter. Organizations need to learn how to harness this digital fire hose to acquire, retain, and grow customer relations in an increasingly connected and digital world. Hello, I'm Barton Goldenberg, president and founder of ISM. I founded ISM 33 years ago to help organizations like yours acquire, retain, and grow your customer base. There are lots of opportunities in the area of data analytics that I particularly enjoy, segmentation, acquisition modeling, lead scoring, cross-sell, upsell, next best offer, retention or survival modeling as it's called, response modeling, lookalike modeling, one of my favorites, customer lifetime value. These are all different types of data analytic opportunities. What I'd like to do now is quickly show you how ISM has helped three best-in-class organizations harness vast customer data to drive customer acquisition, retention, and growth. In the first case study, we're talking about a global automotive manufacturer. The executive team got together and said, you know, we really would like to confirm the benefits of a, of a comprehensive data analytics program. We want to answer simple questions like, how do we measure the success of the program? And to accomplish this, ISM focused on customer purchasing behaviors that included both cross-sell, cross-brand purchases, and campaign conversion. We looked at things like the base sales and sales trends over a 20-year period. We looked at repeat buying trends and model preferences. We looked at cross-brand purchase analysis, including model preferences. And then we built repeat buyer lookalike models. We also built campaign conversion predictive models. And all this was done in an effort to better understand how should this company spend its promotional dollars in an increasingly competitive and challenging environment. The second company that I'd like to talk briefly about is a financial services company. The situation in that particular case is there was a desire for this very old and well-established company to begin to sell mutual funds in addition to some of the other products they were selling, including annuities. And what the, the, the question at hand was with the tens of thousands of financial advisors that were capable of selling these new mutual funds, which advisors would be the best advisors to offer the product through? Because the advisor performance rate varied widely, the churn rate amongst the advisors was too high, and we really needed to look at who were the high potential advisors that would be the best advisors to go to to realize this particular new product launch. So what we did in this particular case was a little different. We actually organized a discovery workshop. And within the workshop, we wrote a business case. We looked at the current market for mutual funds. We created a data analytics value proposition. We looked at the project costs. We focused on cost benefit analysis, and we came up with a business case. And then we went out and built a proof of concept using data analytics to validate the business case. More specifically, we looked at six areas for quantification. The value of upselling for existing ad financial advisors, the value of cross-selling for existing financial advisors, the win-back of former advisors, what we call fallen angels, that might actually be the better ones to sell this new mutual funds. We looked at what is the optimal interaction with the advisors in terms of number of times we contacted them, how we contacted, contacted them, channels that we used, etc. We looked at how the advisor drove, uh, how we could drive advisor retention and loyalty, so how one advisor could differ from another and how we would approach them differently. And then we focused on acquisition of advisor, both recruitment and development. In the th and in that particular case, we had a tremendous outcome whereby the, the, the actual data model more than validated the business case. And the result of that is this company then moved into building that particular um, data analytics program. In the third and final case, I want to move to the B2C field, and that is a, a global consumer brand where the focus was on segmentation. So this was a company that offers a program 
whereby training is provided to members who sign up, they pay a member fee, they get certified, and the challenge that this company was facing was there was a high level of churn among their members and that was impacting the revenue and bottom line. So in this particular case, we had a lot of um, fun creating what was a segmentation model that it was aiming to achieve five objectives. First of all, to categorize the members into groups with similar behaviors and characteristics. Then we could hopefully better manage the member company relationship by segment. We could assess the potential value of new member activities and the rate of churn amongst those members. We could align our personal communications to maximize the member value so that we get unique communications. And then we could shape and define individual customer journeys, or in this particular case, it was groups of customer journeys by uh, member segment. It was a very interesting approach that we used. We utilized third-party demographics and lifestyle data. And then what we did is we built iterative models to predict the behavior. We validated those models against the test group. We created a scoring mechanism within the model. And finally, we began to identify and lock in on what we called member segmentation. And it was a very interesting exercise whereby we learned that certain segments, once we got them to the first year of membership, were actually home free. And we could then leverage some of those segments to teach what we called the newbie segment that would help them get through that first year. We also carefully looked at moments of truth inside the customer journey, as well as risks that were we identified during that journey. So those are three examples of companies we've had the pleasure of working with. For more than 33 years, ISM has worked closely with these types of world-class B2B, B2C companies. They include the Giorgio Armani's of this world, Jaguar Land Rover, Zumba Fitness, Kraft Foods, Pacific Life, and many others on their data analytics and customer intelligent projects. We would greatly enjoy the opportunity to work with your organization to create and or deliver data analytics excellence. If you'll click below to schedule a session with us, we'll be able to discover together how we might be able to help your organization thrive in our increasingly data-driven world. Thank you.